So, in case you haven't heard, Freepik has delivered us Flux One Lite, which is a distilled model based on the Flux One Dev model, and it's supposed to be significantly faster while delivering the same results. And as you can see, it is brand new with the first push only being about five days ago, and already it has 7,600 downloads as of the time of this recording. So we're going to get it and try it out and compare it to the Flux Dev model as well as the Flux NF4 model and see how it performs in terms of both quality and speed. The first thing we're going to want to do is get the model file and of course there will be a link in the description to this Hugging Face page. So we're just going to click on Files and Versions and scroll down to here where we see the Flux One Lite 8B Alpha you're going to want to right click on that and save link as and this is going to go into your comfy models and into unit so make sure to save that right there and then scroll down on their model card page at the bottom they have left us a example workflow right here so let's go ahead and drop this into our comfy we open this image in a new tab let's drag it off to the side over there and if we just drag that right into our comfy we will have the workflow and as you can see it is pretty much identical to the standard workflow that you're already used to working with so you can use this in your existing workflow if you'd like and over here it looks like they're using the load diffusion model node let's just go ahead and select the flux light with the the name that we gave it which is flux one light 8b alpha and it looks like they're using the t5 with the clip l on the dual clip loader so let's go ahead and select our versions of that we have the t5 right there and our clip l right there we'll leave the guidance on 3.5 like they had it and we will keep everything else the same and it also looks like they're using the standard flux ae.sft let's go ahead and select our version and let's go ahead and give this a run and see if we can produce the image that they have here on their model card all right well we have successfully reproduced the image they have on the model card so let's open that in a new tab and save it off to the side and now let's give this a try with our standard flux dev model everything else is going to be the same and let's see how the two compare and of course as is to be expected when we're running the flux dev model Model, it looks like we're pretty much maxed out on the VRAM, so things are going quite a bit slower. Okay, well, we have our Flux Dev results. Let's pop that open in a new tab and let's compare the two. And so here we can see the difference between the light model on the left and the dev model on the right. The results are pretty similar in terms of the overall quality and composition of the image, of course, in the light model it got the text right there was supposed to be an 8b in there whereas on the dev model it did not get the 8b in the text so that's interesting and of course you can see here in this specific example the light model took 13 seconds whereas the full dev model took four whole minutes so i would say quite a performance increase indeed and of course the quality is nearly identical to the full dev model as well. So that's really nice. Now let's test this exact same prompt with all of our settings exactly the same on our Flux NF4 model. So we're just going to pop in an NF4 loader right there and select our NF4 model. We're gonna use the same clip and the same VAE to keep things consistent. And we will just put our model in right to both of those and let's just bypass this load diffusion model node just to make sure we don't have anything funky going on and let's give that a go and with the nf4 model it looks like we're running around 79 percent vram which is still quite a bit less than either the dev or the light model from free pick so so far on performance it's looking like the nf4 is going 
to be the winner. Let's see how it stacks up on quality. Okay, so here we have all of the images open. We have the NF4 right here and the light alpha right there. And this is the image from the full dev one model. And with the NF4, again, the image is pretty similar in terms of the quality and composition when compared with the dev and the light alpha. And again, it got the text correct just like the light alpha did, whereas the full dev model did not get the text correct. It does not have the 8B in the sign as is specified in the prompt. So let's take a look at our command prompt and see what it was like on the performance. And we can see here that the NF4 model took 18 seconds compared to the 13 seconds on the light model and the four minutes on the dev model. So overall, I would say for me personally, I am going to stick with the NF4 model for now. It seems to provide the best balance between quality and performance. While it did take five seconds longer than the light model in this particular situation, it did run at 79% VRAM versus 91% VRAM for the light alpha model. So it's making more efficient use of the available hardware resources. And to me, it still provides the best overall quality compared to the Flux dev model. We can see the alien in the NF4 and the dev model both have completely detailed features, whereas the alien in the light model is just kind of this glowing silhouette of an alien. So of course, I'm going to do some more experimenting, but it seems like for now, the NF4 is still going to be the way to go. It provides the best balance between quality and performance. It uses the lowest amount of VRAM of all three of these models. It still handles text very well, and the speed of the NF4 is very nearly identical to the speed of the light alpha model. So for now, I'm going to stick with the NF4, but of course I will do some more experimenting with the NF4 and the light alpha models, and perhaps in some other situations, for example, where we have a larger image size or we're trying to do something that's photorealistic, there may be cases where the light alpha model is going to be the winner over the NF4. So I will continue to experiment with that and keep you posted on the results. If you happen to play around with the light model and come up with some good results, be sure to share that in the Share Your Art channel over on the Discord. Of course, there will be a link in the description for that. And be sure to catch us on the daily streams. It's turned out to be a lot of fun, so make sure you catch us on there. And now I'm going to prep for this evening stream. I hope to see you guys all over there. And if not, catch you on the next one. Take care.